the external anatomy of the rat. Rattus rattus belongs to phylum chordata. I believe that it's safe to say that the morphological differences between rats, whales, and cats make it easy for us to differentiate them from one another. So here's the big question. What do these species have in common? You guessed it, they are all mammals. What keeps mammals linked together? Well, there are two things. All mammals have hair at some time during their development, and all female mammals possess mammary glands with external openings for nourishing their young. Now let's focus on the rat. A rat is a tetrapod with digitigrade locomotion, which means that the rat only walks on its digits while the rest of their foot is elevated, kind of like a human walking on your tippy toes. Let's begin with the four key parts to the rat's external anatomy. A rat is divided into four parts. The head, the neck, the trunk, and the tail. The head and neck. The head is separate from the trunk by a distinct movable neck. Mouth containing upper and lower lips. Upper lip has a cleft. A cleft like some humans have. The mouth also contains four incisor teeth. Two on the top and two on the bottom. Rats also have upper and lower eyelids. When it comes to their ears, rats have a unique feature. They have an external fold called a pinna, which directs waves into their ear canals. A tympanic membrane lies out of sight at the base of this ear canal. Another name for the ear canal is the external auditory meatus. Rats also have specialized sensory hairs called vibrissae. Vibrissae grow from the snout, upper eyelid, cheek, and chin of the rat. Now let's talk about the trunk. The trunk is divided into two different parts. The anterior thorax and the posterior abdomen. The anterior thorax contains ribs while the abdomen does not. The rat has 12 teats, nipples, or mammary glands. These mammary glands are typically distributed evenly between the anterior thorax and the posterior abdomen. Six on the thorax and six on the abdomen. Both female and male rats have an anus at the base of their tails. Just like humans, in female rats, the urinary and genital openings are separate. The urethral opening is most anterior with the vaginal orifice just posterior to it. In males, the urethra is a common urogenital duct and opens at the tip of the penis. At the base of the tail, the sac-like scrotum contains testes, which are pretty evident in this picture. The tail. Tails have an epidermal origin, covered in scales with few hairs scattered in between them. Now here is a diagram that will help you practice learning the external anatomy of a rat.